First tonight, we're not only tracking the heat, we're also talking about the chance for showers and storms in the Carolinas. Taking a live look at the powerful first worn Doppler radar, you can see rain and storms pushing through the area. Some of you getting a nice soaking. But that rain bringing little relief from the heat temperature still in the 90s, and you can see it is still feeling like it is in the triple digits out there. We have live first worn team coverage, starting with John Wendell, who's tracking the rain and the heat. John? Yeah, if you're one of the lucky folks that are getting the scattered showers and thunder showers out there, your temperatures have dropped off. Otherwise, everybody else is well up into the 90s. First of all, here's a look from the view camera, 52 stories up, and we're looking to the west, and there's a little shower out there, and it's heading toward uptown Charlotte. Not a lot of rain, not a heavy rain or anything like that, but it will cool you down. As a matter of fact, here in Charlotte, our temperature has dropped off to 88 degrees. Well, we were 95 a little bit earlier in the day, and uh, winds out of the north at about six miles an hour. 98 degrees is what we feel like out there. 99 is the heat index in Gastonia. Looking at the radar right now, there's that shower heading toward uptown Charlotte right along 85. That continues to move to the east. There's a few more showers up to the north, but definitely the heaviest activity, Anson County, where they're seeing some heavy rain, some lightning, and even some gusty winds. Well, we do see a change coming up for next week. I'd more comfortable change. I'll tell you about that when I come back in a little bit, Sarah. All right, John, thank you. Well, another scorching day with temperatures well into the 90s has everyone trying to stay cool. Kids are out of school and a lot of them are still going to camps despite the heat as adults try to avoid skyrocketing energy bills while that AC works overtime. NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes live at five at Romero Bearden Park. So Rob, how is it out there? Well, normally about this time, we see a lot of people out here at Romeo Bearden Park, but not necessarily this afternoon, mostly because of the scorching temperatures, as you mentioned, but also now because of a few raindrops. So either you got outside early or it's probably time to go inside. Feels like 100 degrees out here. He's not far off. This morning, the Knights held a baseball clinic for 200 kids. While it wasn't the hottest part of the day, organizers made sure they had water breaks every 20 minutes. We can't forget about our pets. One veterinarian told me just to keep them inside. You can let them out for a bathroom break, but then it's straight back to the air conditioning. Also, keep them off the pavement. Temperatures in the mid 90s can make the blacktop as hot as 150 degrees. My customers are using a lot of power right now. Paige Lane with Duke Energy says there are several things all of us can do to ease the burden on the power grid and trim down on the energy bill cooking with your oven and drying your clothes. Those are the biggest energy users in your home and they're also heat producers. Also, don't crank your thermostat down to the 60s. Instead of pumping in more air, focus on making your home more energy efficient. Specifically, check the seals on any opening in your house. You can suck air from any, any location, doors, windows, attic access doors. Steve Williams from Mooresville came up with the attic tent. In the summer, it keeps the hot air from the attic from escaping into your air-conditioned living space. Well, if you've ever spent time in the attic, you know how hot it can get up there. For more information on that product, you can visit attictent.com. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you the biggest culprit or one of the biggest culprits for a broken AC unit. And guys, we're starting to get some raindrops. It feels great. <laughs> Best relief we've had all day. Live in Uptown, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. Rob, thank you. And you can track the rain and heat all in the palm of your hand with the NBC Charlotte mobile app.